Hello everybody. How are you doing today? Let's learn Japanese with NHK learning materials with me. Today's class is number 14. So today's main theme is let's try to say I want to go somewhere in Japanese. First of all, let's check the video clip spoken in Japanese with Japanese and English subtitles. And after that, I will explain the meaning of each Japanese word and expressions for you in English. And thirdly, let's watch it again. Video clips spoken in Japanese, but this time with sound subtitles. So let's try to understand Japanese with sound subtitles. And finally, let's practice speaking in Japanese together. Because the simplest and the best way to improve our spoken ability is practice speaking Japanese, right? So, before we start it, if you feel that my channels and videos is good for you to learn Japanese, please subscribe my channels and please share it with your friends who are also learning Japanese. Now it's time to get it started. Are you ready for it? Let's start it. Okay, now let's check Japanese conversation on the left side video clip and try to understand the outline of their conversation in Japanese to get out with subtitles on the right by Japanese and English. Are you ready to check it? Let's try it. こんにちは。私はタムです。あ、僕ゆうきです。タムさん、日本語ができるんですね。少しだけです。ラジオで勉強しました。ええ、すごいですね。日本へ行ってみたいです。ぜひ来てください。僕が案内しますよ。Let's check it again and try to understand the outline of their conversation in Japanese. Konnichiwa. Watashi wa Tamu desu. Ah, boku Yuki desu. Tamu san, Nihongo ga dekiru desu ne. ラジオで勉強しました。ええ、すごいですね。日本へ行ってみたいです。ぜひ来てください。僕が案内しますよ。How was it? Could you understand the conversation in Japanese? If you couldn't understand them perfectly, don't worry about it. I will explain the meaning of each Japanese word and expressions for you in English. So now let's begin the second part, explanation of each Japanese word and expression for you. So, one lady said, Konnichiwa, watashi wa Tamu desu. This means in English, hello, I'm Tam. Hello means in Japanese, Konnichiwa. Watashi wa means I. Tam is her name, and this is am. So I am Tam means Watashi wa Tamu desu. So if you put your name instead of Tam here, now you can introduce yourself. For example, if your name is Mike, Watashi wa Mike desu, like this. If your name is Miki, Watashi wa Miki desu, like this. Did you get it? Then, one guy replied by saying, Ah, boku Yuki desu, means Oh, I'm Yuki. I'm is the same. Boku is used by guy. Boku. The lady normally cannot use, does not use boku to express myself. So boku is a I. Yuki is a his name. And this is am. So I am Yuki. I'm Yuki. Boku wa Yuki desu. And let me explain Japanese word. Japanese people have three types of 
letters. One is hiragana, like this. And another one is a, this kind of kanji. So we sometimes see foreign people having a kanji tattoo on their body. Kanji. And another one is a katakana. This is a katakana form of Japanese. So please keep in mind that we Japanese use three types of letters. This sounds a little bit complicated for you, but don't worry, we can learn them step by step. So, this part, ah, boku yuki desu means the guy is a little bit surprised, ah, then I am yuki, boku wa yuki desu. Could you get it? Then, one guy said by saying in Japanese, Tamu-san, Nihongo ga dekiru n desu ne, means Tamu-san. You can speak Japanese. So, this ne at the last is having a some kind of expressions. If without ne, Nihongo ga dekiru desu. Tamu san, Nihongo ga dekiru desu. Tamu san, you can speak Japanese. But if you put ne, that includes the meaning that I haven't known. I haven't known that you can speak Japanese, so this is first time for me to know something new. Then we put this kind of ne. Ne is a com not complete surprise, but、uh, it implies that it is first time to know. Ne. So he, he said, Tamu san, Nihongo ga dekiru n desu ne? Means Tamu san. You can speak Japanese. Then, this means including that is for the first time for me to know that. Ne. Nihongo ga dekiru n desu ne. Tamu san. Nihongo ga dekiru n desu ne. Tamu san. You can speak Japanese. Then, Tamu san replied by saying in Japanese, Skoshi dake desu. Skoshi means a little. A little. Skoshi dake. A little. Then, Tamu san said, Rajio de benkyo shimashita. Means, I studied Japanese by radio. I means watashi. But sometimes we skip to say the subject like this. So, grammatically, Watashi wa rajio de benkyo shimashita. But she skipped to say the subject. So she said, rajio de benkyo shimashita. Means I studied it by radio. This is a katakana form in Japanese, rajio. In English, radio. Benkyo means study. And this ta at the last of the sentence means. Implies the past, something happened in the past. So, this ta refers to the something happened in the past. So, I studied it by radio. Studied. Ta. Benkyo shimashita. Because she studied English in the past. So, I studied it. De means by. Radio. Radio. I studied English by radio, she said. Rajio de benkyo shimashita. Did you get it? So, one important point for Japanese runner is this ta at the last implies something happened in the past. Past sentence, okay? Then, one guy replied by saying in Japanese, He, suoi desu ne. In English, he means I see. I understood. I see. Sugoi means great. So it's great. Sugoi. Desu ne. Is it is. It's. It's great. Sugoi desu ne. I see. It's great. Then, Tamu san, the lady said by speaking Japanese, Nihon e itte mitai desu. In English, That means I want to go to Japan. Nihon. 
This is a kanji form. Nihon means Japan. Itte mitai. This expression, mitai, mitai, means something we want to do. Mitai desu. Itte mitai means want to go. And Nihon e means to. Japan. Japan. So maybe you notice that Japanese grammar and English grammar is opposite, right? Nihon, Japan. In the Japanese sentence, at the beginning, Japan, Nihon, is put here. But in English, Nihon at the last, like this. Then, e, Nihon e means to. Itte mitai means want to go. Then, I, watashi. So in this Japanese sentence, again, watashi is skipped. Watashi wa means I. I want to go to Japan. Watashi wa nippon e itte mitai desu. I want to go to Japan. So when I speak in grammatically, in Japanese sentences, at the beginning, there is normally put subject first. Watashi wa. English, it is the same. I, watashi wa, the subject. Then, in case of English, verb follows the subject, right? I want to go to. I want to go. But in case of Japanese, after the subject, Nihonge, the object, comes after the verb. After the subject. Watashi wa Nihonge. The subject and object, then, iku, verb, itte mitai desu. Verb will follow. Watashi wa nihon e itte mitai desu. The subject, the object, and verb. S, O, V, form in Japanese case. But in English, subject and verb. Then, object, SV, SVO form in English, right? So this is the typical difference between Japanese grammar and English grammar. Watashi wa Nihon e itte mitai desu. I want to go to Japan. Did you get it? Then, the guy replied by saying in Japanese, Zehi kite kudasai. Means, please. Means, kudasai. Kuru, kite, means come. So he said, please come. Please come to Japan. Then, boku ga annai shimasu yo. Means, boku, means I. I introduce, means annai. Japan, means Nippon. I introduce Japan to you. Means, boku ga annai shimasu yo. I introduce Japan to you. Did you get it? So, let's review all Japanese words and expressions quickly. Konnichiwa means hello. Watashiwa means I. Tam is name. Des means am. So, I am Tam. Watashiwa Tam desu. Then, a. A is an expression we Japanese use. We say a. Or like that, when we a little bit surprised. Ah, boku yuki desu. Boku means I. Yuki is his name. This is am. So, I'm Yuki. Then, Tamu-san is her name. Tamu-san, Nihongo ga dekirun desu ne. You can speak Japanese. So, another important part in this phrase is this ne. At the last. Nihongo ga dekirun desu. Ne. This ne implies that. It's the first time for me to know that. In this case, this guy knows first time that Tamu-san can speak Japanese. So, this ne is put at the end. Nihongo ga dekirun desu ne. Is including some kind of surprise. Oh, you can speak Japanese like this. Tamu-san, Nihongo ga dekirun desu ne. 
。タムさん、You can speak Japanese. Speak means 話す。日本語 means Japanese. Okay? Then タムさん replied, 少しだけです。means only a little, a little. Then タムさん continued to sing, ラジオで勉強しました。means I studied it by radio. This is a katakana form in Japanese. ラジオ means radio. 勉強する。勉強する means study. But again, this ta at the end of the Japanese sentences implies something happened in the past. So, I studied it by radio. Studied. 勉強しました。in the past. Studied. Okay? 勉強しました。Studied. Then, guy, by saying that, へぇ、すごいですね、means, へぇ、means, I see, I understood. すごい、means, great. So, it's great. すごいですね。Then, Thompson said in Japanese, 日本へ行ってみたいです。means, I want to go to Japan. 日本 is Japan. 行く means, go. 見たい is want to. 見たい。So, 日本へ行ってみたい means I want to go to Japan. Then, guy replied by saying in Japanese, ぜひ来てください。means please come. Please come to Japan. 僕が案内しますよ。僕 means again, I. Introduce means 案内 Introduce. Japan to you. I introduce Japan to you. 僕が日本を案内しますよ。Did you get it? Could you understand every Japanese and the phrases? So, now let's move to the next part. Let's watch that video clip spoken in Japanese again, but this time without subtitles. So let's try to understand every Japanese word and expressions only listening Japanese. Let's try it. Konnichiwa. Watashi wa Tamu desu. Ah, boku Yuki desu. Tamu san, Nihongo ga dekiru desu ne. 少しだけです。ラジオで勉強しました。えー、すごいですね。日本へ行ってみたいです。ぜひ来てください。僕が案内しますよ。Could you understand the conversation in Japanese? Okay, now let's check it again. Hi, Let's try to practice speaking in Japanese together. So, first, we will check Japanese conversation one sentence by one sentence on the left side of video clip. Then, we will follow and try to speak Japanese together. Okay? Okay, now let's practice speaking in Japanese. Konnichiwa means hello. Konnichiwa. Now it's your turn. Please speak it Japanese. Konnichiwa. Then, Watashi wa Tamu desu. So let's put your name here. So if your name is Mike, Watashi wa Mike desu. If your name is Catherine, Watashi wa Catherine desu. 
Okay? Now, it's your turn. Let's practice speaking Japanese. Watashi wa des. Watashi wa des. Could you say it in Japanese? Now, let's move to the next sentence. Ah, boku yuki desu. Ah, boku yuki desu. Ah. This ah uh, doesn't have any specific meaning because he was spoken to her suddenly, so this includes a little bit surprise. Then he said, ah, boku means I. I am Yuki. I am Yuki. So this book expression is used by younger generation or young person. Not senior person like 30s, 40s. Normally don't use this book sentence. Young man, young man, young guys use book. Book Yuki desu. Book Yuki desu. Now it's your turn. Let's speak in Japanese for this sentence. Ah, bok Yuki desu. Yuki is a name, so you can put your real name here. Boku desu. Boku desu. Did you say it in Japanese? Now let's move to the next sentence. Tamu san, Nihongo ga dekirun desu ne. Tamu san, Nihongo ga dekirun desu ne. Means Tamu san, you can speak Japanese. This ne. Do you remember the meaning of this ne? So this ne implies that this is the first time for him to know Tamu san can speak Japanese. Tamu san, Nihongo ga dekirun desu ne. Tamu san, Nihongo ga dekirun desu ne. Now it's your turn. Let's try to speak in Japanese. Tamu san, Nihongo ga dekirun desu ne. Tamu-san, Nihongo ga dekiru n desu ne. Did you say it in Japanese? Let's practice, practice, practice. Now let's move to the next Japanese sentences. Sukoshi dake desu. She replied by saying, Sukoshi dake desu. Means only a little. A little. Sukoshi dake desu. Only a little, she said. Sukoshi dake desu. Let's try to speak in Japanese for this sentence. Sukoshi dake desu. Sukoshi means a little. Okay? Sukoshi dake desu. Did you say it in Japanese? Now let's move to the next. Radio de benkyo s h i m a s h i t a She said, Radio de benkyo s h i m a s h i t a Means I studied English by radio. Benkyo means study. And this ta at the last. Of this Japanese sentence implies something happened in the past. Ta. Radio de benkyo shimashita. I studied English by radio. I studied English in, by radio. Radio de benkyo shimashita. Now it's your turn. Let's try to speak this sentence in Japanese. Radio de benkyo shimashita. Did you say it in Japanese? Now let's move to the next. しし、えーね、Then the guy replied by saying, へー、ね、This へ means I see, I understood. Like this. へーすごいですね。You're great. It's great. Like this. すごい means great. へーすごいですね。Now it's your turn. Let's practice speaking in Japanese with this sentence. へーすごいですね。Now it's your turn. Please say it Japanese. Did you say it Japanese? Now let's move to the next. 日本へ行ってみたいです。This is today's main phrase, key phrase. I want to go to Japan someday. 日本へ行ってみたいです。日本へ行ってみたいです。means I want to go to Japan. 日本 means Japan. へ means to. 行ってみたい。want to go. です。So, this phrase is without the subject. 私は日本へ行ってみたいです。
But we Japanese sometimes skip to saying the subject. So, 日本へ行ってみたいです。means I want to go to Japan. Now it's your time to practice speaking in Japanese for this sentence. 日本へ行ってみたいです。Now please say it in Japanese. 日本へ行ってみたいです。日本へ行ってみたいです。Have you said it in Japanese? So, if you replace this part, Nippon, to other place, for example, America, America e itte m i t a i des, means I want to go to America. Canada, Canada e itte m i t a i des, means I want to go to Canada. Like this. Nihon e itte m i t a i des. Did you say it in Japanese? Now let's move to the next sentence. Ze hi kite kudasai. Then he replied by saying, ぜひ来てください。ください means in English, please. 来る means come. So please come. Please come to Japan, he said. ぜひ来てください。Now it's your turn to practice speak in Japanese. ぜひ来てください。ぜひ来てください。Now it's your turn to practice speak in Japanese. ぜひ。Did you say it in Japanese? Then he said, Boku ga annai shimas yo. Boku means again, I. Annai means introduce. I introduce Japan to you. Boku ga annai shimas yo. I introduce you. Boku ga annai shimas yo. Now let's practice speak in Japanese for this sentence. It's your turn. Boku ga annai shimasu yo. Please say it in Japanese. Did you say it? Okay, so at the last, please check their Japanese conversation again. I am Yuki. 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 Could you understand today's Japanese lesson with me by NHK Learning Materials? Let's improve your Japanese skills step by step together with me. If you think that my channels and videos is good for you to learn Japanese, please subscribe my channels. And if you have a friend who is also learning Japanese, please share it. Please share my channels to your friend. And please give me a good evaluation button. I hope this videos and channels for you is good too for you to learn Japanese. Thank you very much for watching my video towards the end. Have a good day, stay healthy, goodbye.